Okay, I've parked here at Mary's Peak, just below Connor's Camp. I'm gonna actually go up and park at Connor's Camp before I start hiking. I wanted to I saw, get out of the house, you know? This is like, it's been about a week since the smoke has cleared out. I can actually go do stuff. Uh, been feeling like I wanna get out. Uh, I saw the clouds up around Mary's Peak, uh, so go up, hopefully do some photography, maybe not too much hiking videography or vlogging, but we'll see, there's a good chance by the time I get out of the tree line and uh, at the peak itself that there's just no more clouds, so we'll have to find out. So I'm not going to subject you to all that wind noise. What I was trying to say here is that the awful thing about going up to Mary's Peak is that it's just an amazing view. You, 360 degrees, you see all the way out to the ocean. That day was super clear. You could see Newport, or at least I think you can see Newport. You could see all the way to Mount Adams. Uh, you could barely make out Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens. And of course, you could see all the Cascade Peaks in Oregon to the west behind me. But a great view doesn't make a great spot for photographs. Maybe if there were some more low-lying clouds with some uh, of the other hills kind of just poking up through it, but eh, who knows. <laughs> It is a nice and foggy day. I didn't realize that until like nine o'clock. Oh shit, it's foggy, it's great. I can go out and try taking some photos. It's not as foggy as I had hoped out here. I'm actually at a park about 15 minutes away from my house. So it's probably the closest nature. I saw a couple of deer running around this trail over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow them and see if I can get some shots. I lost him. Wandered off into private land and well, you know, this park has a lot of trees, but I think it only has about an eighth of a mile worth of trail that isn't just like, you know, through that area. Seems like most people here are just uh, walking their dog, playing fetch and stuff. We'll see what I can find. Do you hear that? There's a squirrel that's just been losing its absolute shit. I'm just screaming and barking. I'm trying to get a photo of it right now, but fucker one just hold still. It was a bit of a bust, but uh, the Nikon said that the photos were underexposed. Uh, it's probably not as bad as the camera itself thinks, since post-processing is just so good now. We should be able to, I should be able to get some detail or whatever out of that. Just sucks the fog is like non-existent where the trees are. I can look out at these folks about 50 yards away from me. They're outside the trees, they have their dogs. They're just kind of in the field and there's plenty of fog, but that's useless fog. Nice little park. Day two, take two on this fog thing. This, the fog this morning, super thick, pick up a member of my quarantine, gonna go walk in the woods for a 
mile or so. Very small lake that they don't let anyone get in. It's really a, a gross lake. I'll try to show it. Hopefully we'll have some good fog there. Maybe get some salamanders too. So this is the area where the university's logging team does, or maybe did, I don't know if they're still a thing, uh, their practice for logging events. Brought a puppy here when she was a lot younger, tried to get her to run up and down some of the obstacles, but she wasn't having that. Anyway, the fog paid off, and coming out here it paid off too really pretty as usual. Just, uh, you know, look at this. The sun's a little bit too high now, so everything's like way too bright, but I think that's probably good. Mm -hmm. 